This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 73 of building your own R2-D2. Uh, we're going to be continuing with the internal frame for the body, uh, fitting the internal supports this time after looking through the magazine. Uh, designing new worlds from building a galaxy, uh, still looking at episode one. Uh, look for episode one, obviously, will influence the other prequels, as you'd imagine it might. But yeah, it's, it's got some interesting um, design choices in there, isn't there? Uh, the D Squad, the Clone Wars Heroes, uh, R2-D2, uh, Q it hasn't got a D in it, I don't know, why is it called the D Squad, I don't know, right, right. I don't like that, that's, yeah, that's not the R2 that we know and love quite, something not quite right about that, but uh, yeah, looking through the droids from uh, the Clone Wars and Rebels by the looks of it as well, um, Smart Cities, uh, robots are being used to keep the city's invisible services flowing smoothly. Um, tidied up leaks in pipes. Uh, we've got uh, fill level sensors in smart bins. Uh, dockless bike hire projects around the world. Yeah, similar to the ones we've got in the UK. Um, that's that. Uh, AI and things. All good. Idyllic, ideal world. There we go. Uh, right. In this issue, we're building the body frame support. We've got some tubes and internal supports, some more screws supplied today as well. Uh, we'll do those in just a moment, and then that will be another week done. So here we have the parts supplied this time, a couple of uh, Z sort of brackets, some quite weighty tubes with screw threads in either end and a selection of screws in various different packets. Uh, now, before we get back to fitting those onto this, uh, one of my subscribers, PK World, told me in a message on my last video that I had a bit wrong. I did, I did indeed. This piece I had flipped over the other way. Um, it should be symmetrical with the blobs at the bottom and then the pieces there. It's strange. It's it's the same piece. It's, it's uh, labelled as BF20. But it means that you get the nice chamfered curved edges this side and not on this one. On this one, yeah, that side with the printing on it. So because they're the same part, they obviously have to be flipped over. So be aware. Don't make a mistake like I did. If you do, go back and sort it out again. Uh, right, so we are using some of these 8mm screws to begin with. Let's just get all of these screws out of that packet. And then worry about what's going on. Next, uh, we are not fitting those immediately. We're fitting one of these tubes, which is being fitted with the screw there, obviously, either end. doesn't matter which end you use for those at the moment. Uh, and these are being fitted through here. Right, so they're basically we're going to be going upwards. This is the, the bottom bit. So they're going upwards. So the screw's going in through the bottom here. And... It's probably about here that I would have realised that I've got it in the wrong way around because I wouldn't be able to put it where it needs to go. Uh, they're going in basically these four holes. Yeah. So get the screw through there and then the tube buttons onto the top of it. Just like that. Go. So that's that. Nice and easy. Not a problem, um, and yeah, if I hadn't reversed this, I'd be fitting this one up about there somewhere, which isn't correct, obviously. So get those four in there. No worries. Uh, 
one, third one over here. Screw through is nice and easy. Power it in. Much easier with an electric screwdriver on these ones. And the last one. Going in there. Just like that. And there we have all four connected through, just like what we should. Uh, next up, we are using these. Uh, now, it says uh, the ends are slightly different. One end has two threaded holes. The other end has two larger clearance holes. So, yes, uh, that one is threaded. That one are clearance holes. That one is a clearance hole. And that one is threaded. So, let's get them that way around so we know what we're dealing with. Uh, what we're doing is setting a clearance end over the two holes in the bottom ring. The cranked end facing towards the center of the frame. All right, let's try and figure this out. They're going over there like that. Uh, and the screws are going through there, obviously into there. Uh, we are fitting them with, uh, let's see what screw. Uh, yeah, 2.5 by 4 mil screws. That would be these ones in this packet here, obviously not the ones in the packet I've already opened. That would be far too easy. Because I can't even open this one. There it goes. Uh, I will open the third packet as well, that we know, even though we're not using it this time. I will put them away in the screw holding device. That one there, again, not the end with the threads in it. These are just going straight the way through that hole into that one down the bottom. Go, that's those both in, so then get them tightened down. Just like so, uh, and then do the same with the other one. That one again, threaded holes at the top. Go straight through there without threading. Into there. Come on, you know where the hole is. Out there, there it is. That one and that one. Now, because these are a threaded hole, uh, a, a clearance hole rather than a threaded hole, there is some movement to that. So I'll tighten them down now, but we might need to adjust them a little bit when we come to a connector to the top. Probably not, because again, it's it's not exactly really high tolerance stuff. But that is that. That is this build complete. So far, so good. Um, and ready for the next part to be added to it at some point in the near future. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.